guys, welcome back to my, uh, what is this? It's a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my word. So I am going to apologize in advance because I flew back from Australia, arrived yesterday, um, feeling a little bit like a zombie. So if you can just bear with me. So right now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I'm not quite sure what I'm filming for you today. Um, a lot of you always comment on my Instagram videos saying, oh, can you film this flow? And the majority of the time, that's not a flow that I've planned, it's just free flow. So I'm gonna to attempt to kind of do something like that for you today. I'm just gonna flow how I feel and I'm gonna teach it to you. It's going to be quite short and sweet, but hopefully you're gonna enjoy it all the same as a long flow. Um, as always, just do what you can, feel it, be within it, watch everything that's happening um, inside of you, and yeah, just take child's pose if you need to take a break. Um, other than that, enjoy. So let's get started. First of all, I want us to come to a comfortable seated position. So easy pose, Sukhasana. So either crossing the legs um, would be the traditional uh, form of easy pose, but let's face it, if you're gonna give the name easy pose to something, then really it's up to the yogi how they feel most comfortable. So if that for you is kneeling, um, or if you're really, really shattered and you really just wanna lie down for a few moments before we get started, then by all means go for that. So those of us sitting up, you're gonna place the backs of the hands on the knees, palms facing upwards. So palms facing upwards, surrendering everything within you to a greater, a greater power. So the universe, growing tall through the spine. And as we really root down to mother nature, so we root down to the earth, we grow through the crown of the head. So we've got this dual action, this grounding and this growing. And that's a constant. You wanna stay within that as much as possible throughout your practice and also throughout life. Grounding and growing. So taking some moments just to watch the breath. Inhaling softly and exhaling fully. Dropping the head over to one side softly. And then taking half neck rolls all the way down through center, up to the right or whichever side, back down through the middle. Inhaling as you lift to the side, exhaling as you go down through center. A few more times. And then bringing the head back through neutral, lifting the head up. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale them down through heart center. Inhale, open out cactus arms. Exhale, round the spine, push the hands away. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, down through heart center. Inhale, cactus arms. Exhale, push the spine away and hands reach long. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, chest and arms open, cactus. And exhale, push the arms away. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, down through heart center. Inhale, open. And then exhale, push and round. Inhale, just come back to neutral. You're gonna open out the legs. So they don't need to be super wide here, just wherever feels good for you. I'm gonna flow between these two sides. 
So inhaling and then exhale as you take the stretch. Inhale through center. Exhale, take the stretch. Inhale through center. Exhale, other side. Inhale through center. Exhale, other side. Inhale through center. Just exhale here. You can see if you can bring the knees in. So knees are, uh, knees are bent, but the, the <laughs> sorry, legs are open. You're gonna take the elbows to the inside of the knees. You're gonna create chin mudra here within the fingers. You're gonna sit tall through the spine. So I really want you to think about growing through the base of the spine, but then pushing the knees away. You're going to stay here for a few breaths. So using Chin Mudra, this connection, this unity. Slowly release. Release the hands down. You're going to walk the hands forwards. If it feels good for you, you could be up on a block. And we're just going to inhale, draw the hands back towards you, lift the chest. And then exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, round. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, round. Inhale, coming all the way up. I'm gonna swing the legs around, come down onto the belly. Placing the hands just beneath you. You're gonna inhale, lift the chest for Cobra. And exhale, release. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift the chest. You're gonna hold here. You're gonna look to the left. Come back through center. Look to the right. Come back through center. Release down into Sphinx. So lifting the chest, forearms are down. You're gonna look left this time and bring the left foot in. See if you can just move around to find that foot and then just press, just gently, the heel down towards the bottom. So we're getting a nice stretch down the front of the thigh, so the quads. Staying with the breath. And release. Coming back to neutral, look to the right side now. And then when you're ready, bending in that right leg, see if you can draw that right hand around, add a little bit of pressure, finding the stretch down the right quad. And slowly release. Sending the bottom now all the way back via a wide leg child's pose. So knees are wide, arms are stretched out in front, forehead is melting down to the mat. And you're going to walk your hands around to the left side. So with every breath here, just feel the stretch and feel the openness down the right side of the body. So hands have walked left, so we're opening up the right side. Coming all the way back around through center. Hands walk over to the right this time. And with each breath, we create space down the left side body. And coming all the way back through center, 
You're gonna root those hands down, spread through the fingers as you tuck under the toes and fly the bottom up for a downward facing dog. So here in our downward facing dog, taking a really nice deep bend in the knees, almost like you wanna get your tummy to touch your thighs. Pushing out through the shoulders. But just sending that bottom up to the sky. On an inhale, start to straighten the knees a bit. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Using that Ujjayi breath, if you have it in your practice. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And then waving the body over to a high plank. Holding here in your high plank. Really pushing out through the top of the spine. You're gonna pick up the right foot. Send the foot high for a three leg dog. So you went plank to three leg dog and you're gonna inhale, bring that right foot all the way through between the hands, lower the back knee down. You're gonna inhale, sweep left arm all the way up. Exhale, release it back. One more time, inhale. Exhale, place it down. This time place left hand down. Inhale, sweep right arm all the way up and over. Inhale up. Exhale down. Root both hands back onto the mat. You're gonna pick up the back foot and you're gonna step that back foot in a little bit so both, both feet are facing forwards. Back foot can be pivoted out a little bit. You're gonna bring the hands to the hips, inhale, and then exhale, either holding here or if you can take a little bit of a deeper forward fold, please do. Hips are square. Placing both hands down. You're gonna come down onto the left knee and then send the bottom all the way back. So you're sitting on that heel. Holding here. If this is a bit tough on the knee, you can just wiggle your way out of it. Okay, so from here, just coming up onto the knees Placing the hands down, frame the back foot. You're gonna step all the way back to your high plank. This time lifting the left leg off the foot floor. Exhale, three leg dog. Taking a breath here. And then you're gonna inhale and feed that foot all the way through between the hands. Lowering the right knee down, low lunge. So to begin with, inhaling, right arm reaches up and we exhale it over in a circle. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, back down to the mat, switching sides. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, placing both hands down. Step the back knee off the mat, and then you're going to walk that foot just in a little bit. The back foot can be pivoted slightly. Take the hands to the hips. Inhale, draw the chest long. Exhale, take a forward fold. <sighs> Breathing here. Placing both hands down, come down onto that right knee and you're gonna sit back onto the right heel and you're just gonna sit tall here. Okay, on an inhale, bring those hands back, frame the foot, come back to your high plank. On an inhale, Staying here strong, exhale, wave the body all the way back to your downward facing dog and just start to softly pedal 
through the feet, through each leg in your downward facing dog. Then you're going to walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Feet about hip width apart, let the head hang heavy. You can take hold of opposite elbows here and just sway gently side to side. Finding stillness, maybe closing off the eyes here. Shift the weight a little bit further towards the middle or the front of the foot. So you just feel that stretch intensify. And release the hands. On an inhale, just place the fingertips down. We'll take the hands to the shins, lift the chest. And then exhale, bending the knees, release. Inhale, lift the chest, create space, exhale, release. One more time, inhale, lift the chest, create space, exhale, release. Beautiful. Starting to lift the body up, inhale to fingertips, exhale the hands to the hips, inhale, draw the body all the way up to standing, head and neck in line. On an inhale, step with the right foot all the way out. We're going to open ourselves to our Prasarita Padatanasanas. Take the hands to the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Forward fold. So I want you to find some real fluidity here. So it's up to you. If you'd like to be here and be still, that is all good. Just focus on your forward fold. If like me, you're feeling a little bit floaty, I want you to move between the two sides, maybe bending each knee as you go. Drawing your hands along, just letting the neck release. And then everybody finding just stillness in the forward fold. On an inhale, start to lift the chest, place the right hand down, sorry, left hand down. Inhale, right arm sweeps all the way up into the sky. And then exhale. You're going to feed the right arm all the way underneath and then bring the left arm to join it on the left foot. So we're hugging that left leg. Bring yourself all the way back to center. Place right hand down, left arm sweeps all the way up into the sky. And then as you exhale, feed that left hand all the way through, release the right hand and come to hug the right leg. On an inhale, coming all the way back. You're going to place the hands down, you're going to heel toe those feet in a little bit. Come down to Malasana, our yogic squat. Bring the hands to heart center. Use the elbows, push open the knees. Again, option of finding some softness here, some floatiness, a bit of movement. Going to place both hands down, lift the bottom up and then you're going to tuck that left foot all the way down so you sit down on the left side, you can bring the left leg all the way over the top. So we're here for half cow face, we're not going to take the arms, we're going to keep the hands down where they are, inhale, draw tall, 
Exhale, forward fold. If you're anything like me and your chakras <laughs> one, two, and three need a little bit of work, then you might find this a little bit tough emotionally. Just try and sit with it for a moment. On an inhale, start to lift the chest all the way up. And then you can either take the fancy swivel, whereby you go round and find yourself on the other side, or you can just release the legs and switch the other one over the top. So we're right leg down, left leg up, going on the other side. Ooh. Inhale, find lift, exhale, forward fold. Stay with any frustration or emotion that arises here. Inhale, come up. It's funny, you know, so this is just a free flow. I have not planned this sequence, yet it's somehow brought me to one of my least favorite postures. Interesting. Think about that if you guys free flow, notice where your body takes you. Okay, we're gonna place the hands down, pivot all the way around to a high plank. On our exhale, take it all the way back. Downward facing dog, we're almost there. You guys have done awesome. Hopefully you're feeling nice and soft and free and open. Just maybe start again to pedal those feet, wiggle the hips. And then come all the way down to the knees. Come down to kneeling. Grow tall in the spine, placing backs of the hands on the knees or on the thighs, grow tall, let the breath soften. Rub the hands together, create some heat between the hands, keeping the eyes closed. Place the palms of the hands just over the top of the eyes, feel the energy, feel the friction, the vibration. And as you draw the hands away, begin to flutter open the eyes. Bring the hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you all so much for flowing with me today. I know that I feel better after that. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed that. So nice and soft and stretchy. Um, so as some of you will be aware, I am going to be doing your January 2.0. So it starts on the 1st of January. For those of you that have got no idea what I'm talking about, that's fine. I will be filming a video and doing an Instagram live all about it. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do, the link is below. And also make sure you're subscribed here because you're gonna be getting 31 days of yoga in January. So I've got a lot of filming to do. Um, I know I can do it. <laughs> uh, and I will see you, of course, um, next Wednesday for a video and then, of course, Sunday for a flow. Thank you so much um, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.